everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's a beautiful day to be alive. My name is IJ and I'm coming to you all the way from Port Harcourt, Nigeria. If you're new on my channel and you haven't yet subscribed, kindly click on that red subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell icon to turn on your notification so you'll be the first to know when I've posted something new. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for the support. I don't take you all for granted at all. Thank you so much. I chase corner. Today, I thought to share with you my experiences, things that I have learned in my 20 years of marriage. Yes, I've been in this journey for 20 good years. Yes, good years, very good years. I got married on the 8th of January 2000, all right? I met my husband sometime in August of 1997, and we finally tied the knot in January 2000. And um, it's, been, it's been an interesting journey. It's been an interesting journey. So I'm not going to be giving you points, number one, number two, no. I'll just be talking, you know, telling you in the story form so that you will not get bored. <laughs> I'm not here to teach anybody. I'm just sharing my own experiences, the things that I have learned in my 20 years. Now, now I've learned that eh, hmm, the success of my marriage depends solely on the two of us, not on our parents, not on our pastor. Yes, I said it. The success of my marriage that, that my marriage is successful today is because we put work together to make it what it is today. We work together as a team to make it work. Yes, so remember people always say there's no I in team. And it is very true. In marriage, there's no I, yo. it's a team thing. You, 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 you know, you want your marriage to be successful, then the two of you would have to team up together. And make it work for me the first two years of my marriage were the hardest they were the most difficult you know because we're just getting to know each other we're just getting you know into this marriage thing and then I had my first child the same year I got married like I said I got married in January and I had my first child in November so it was a difficult thing Pregnancy hormones plus every other thing, you know, trying to adjust to being a wife and then sudden, all of a sudden I, I became a mother. So it was quite difficult. Now trying to also adjust to being married to someone from a different state. As me, I'm from Anambra State. My husband is, is from Imo State, okay? It, up to now, I don't even know how to speak. <laughs> oh, <worry. laughs> After 20 years, I cannot, I'm not fluent in worry, at all. But it's okay. So yes, the first two years were the most difficult. But we made it work. Because we understand that marriage is a lifetime thing. It's not a trial and error thing. That is our mindset. Now, I also uh, learned that it is okay to disagree. It is okay to have arguments. Healthy arguments. Because... The two of you can never see things the same way. Two of you did not grow up in the, you know, you don't have, you don't have the same background. You were, both of us were trained differently. He grew up differently, I grew up differently. So, of course, there would always be some issues to debate about, to, to you know, talk over, to argue about. But I found that it is okay to decide. But you must not always see things the same way. As in, you must not always see things the same way, okay? So, arguing and not shouting and not being confrontational. Arguing. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. If you can argue with your own siblings, how much more a stranger? Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? So, yes, it is okay to argue. I have also learned that communication in the relationship is very, very important. In fact, eh, communication eh, can help stop some unnecessary quarrel. You know, talk over things. We, learned, we, we have learned to talk over things, discuss things. Because when you don't, you just be living your life based on assumptions. 
and that could you know that could ruin the relationship so i have learned to communicate no matter how difficult i'm finding it i have learned to always communicate communication is key because when you're keeping quiet things will be building up and one day eh, hey man when the thing cracks when it breaks here it will cause issues so yes i've learned that communication is very very important in the marriage and so far i would say that we are doing <laughs> a good job i also learned that my husband is not my mate ladies get this so get it you know we feel you know oh women relax relax you know when you get married you feel oh my husband is my mate he is he's not your mate and because i know myself i know how i can be ha huh, i was i was i was careful not to marry somebody that's the same age as me you know i wanted somebody that was much older than me so that even if for nothing else i'll remember that this man is older than me he's not my age mate he's sorry he's not my mate always know that women please that is one thing i have learned always give him the respect due him don't talk to him anyhow men don't like their wives confronting them men don't like their wives being in competition with them i've learned that no matter what even if you as a woman you're doing better than the man no 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 no, no. it's not a competition the man is not looking for who will compete with him the man wants somebody that will respect him but another thing i have learned is this when a spouse is disciplining the children the other spouse should not get in the way So I know some people that maybe their husband, their husband is disciplining a child or so, and they will just be resisting the man. Oh no, 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 don't do that. I have learned that it's not nice, okay? Support him in their presence. Then when you people enter the room, you can argue over it. But in the as he is disciplining the child, there, don't ever say anything contrary. Don't ever. But if you must, say it in a nice way. Because I remember what happened years ago. We went for a wedding in Abuja. And something my husband specifically told my son not to do. He went ahead and did it. And it was showing him pepper, you know, give me, disciplining him. And because we were not at home, we were in the hotel. And this boy was screaming. I had to quietly tell my husband, you just do it. You know we are you know, people will be wondering what is happening here. You know that way, I, I wasn't, I wasn't telling him don't discipline the child. No, I wasn't telling him you're being too hard. No, I just had to quietly tell him to, to remember that we're not at home. I've also learned that <laughs> you can never finish knowing somebody. I can say this even after 20 years. You can never like beat your chest and say I know this person. No, there's always something to learn something new to learn about your spouse that i have learned you know something happened like two weeks ago and i was like i, I thought after 20 years i should be able to say i know this man but i found out that mm, there were some things that i i may not have known not not because he was hiding them but maybe because i was not observant enough to see those things you understand what i mean so yeah you can never finish knowing something mm -hmm. I have also learned that <laughs> marriage will not make you happy. What I mean is this. It is your responsibility to make yourself happy. It is not your husband's responsibility or your spouse's responsibility to make you happy. No, it is your own responsibility. If you ever, for the single ones watching, if you ever thought that when you marry you will be happy or you will marry your husband, to make you happy. Uh, my my yeah. get that to forget it to you have to be happy by yourself. Yes, you have to be happy by yourself. <laughs> and marriage does not feel loneliness. You have to make your life exciting. You know, when you are exciting, your husband is exciting, and the two of you come together. I mean, the, the relationship is so interesting. I have learned. That. Don't depend on somebody. For your happiness, make yourself happy. Look for 
things that will keep you going. And then I have learned that spicing up the relationship is so is so important. You know, there was something we started doing like some years ago. Once in a month, we'll take we'll just go to a hotel in the same city where we are and just spend the weekend there. But after a while, we couldn't continue with it because one thing or the other was getting in the way. And then now I don't have the house help and I have a six-year-old that I cannot leave alone in the house. And then I cannot say, oh, let me take him. It will spoil the fun now. You understand what I mean? I have also learned that when there is an agreement, your husband has to last day. Hear me. Don't go and be fighting with the man and be saying, eh, talking anyhow. I have learned that. Now, for example, you know, like on this my channel, you haven't seen any of my children. It's because my husband has not permitted me to feature them in any of my videos. And I understand that perfectly. And until he permits me, I'll keep doing this alone. You know, in as much as I want to show off my baby, my six-year-old baby, that one is just full of drama. In as much as I would like to show him off and the other ones, I cannot do it without his permission. Yes, I'm their mother. But I know, I know my level. You understand what I mean? Uh, yes. So in matters like that, his own opinion matters. So don't ever think that, ah, ah, no. is it not, I beg, I beg, I'll do what I want to do. What is all this and what is all that? If you want to be like that, eh, then you shouldn't have got married. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it. You shouldn't have got married. So there's no point arguing over those things with your husband. Like I said, he's not your mate. There's no point arguing over something. I'm sure a lot of people will, will not agree with my with my um, views or with what I'm saying. But these are my experiences. Remember, I'm not here to teach anybody anything about marriage. I'm just sharing with you what I have learned in my journey. And I have also come to understand that men and women are wired differently. Oh, we can never be the same. Oh, no, 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 no. Especially when it comes to activities in this other room. Uh -huh, I said it. I'm sure you, you guys have been waiting for me to say it. I have said it. Especially when it comes to the other room. We are wired differently. So we have been able to, fa to find a common ground, you know, to make the relationship interesting. Yeah, we have found a common ground to keep it going, to make it interesting. Yes. Yes, so, and then I have also learned that you you should not get used to being married. Mm -hmm. But no, 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 no. Don't use your children as an excuse to just be anyhow. Mm -mm. The, the, the man married you and not the children. In as much as the children belong to the two of you, it is you that the man married. I've come to learn that also. Lots of things I've learned in my 20 years in Germany, okay? Now, have we had arguments? Yes, we have. Have we had uh, misunderstandings? Yes, we have. Have we had issues? Yes, we have. But the most important thing is being able to tackle whatever issue it is. There was something uh, my pastor said once in his message. He said, when a, a woman finds her place in the marriage relationship, then there will be issues. The issue we normally have is that the woman, they want to, you know, you want to show yourself. You want to, you are feeling that you are equal. It's not so relaxed, so always be happy. Okay? I'm not saying that you cannot be happy in your marriage. You can be happy in your marriage. But it depends on you and not on the other person. So yes, if you enjoyed this video, kindly just give it a thumbs up and don't forget to go to the comment section and let me know your own experience and then how long you have been married. I would like to know. Thank you so much and until I come your way next time, remember that your life is your responsibility. God bless you.